Welcome. This is All I Mouse TV, and my name is Jake's Animal. All right. If you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button. Okay. And we drop new videos every day in this channel. That is the more reason you have to subscribe. Okay. Because we have fun here. Yeah. We have a challenge. Um, one of the subscribers just drop it in the comment section that we should look into this challenge. So. Let's look at this challenge together. The question says, x to the power of x equal to 2 to the power of 2048. Okay, now, from this question, I have three methods uh, I can employ in solving this and we arrive at the same answer. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to use just two. So let's take the first method. First method, okay, first method. We put down our question, which says x to the power of x equal to 2 to the power of 2048. So the first thing that will come to our mind in this first expression or this first uh, method is that uh, here we are having x to the power of x. So can we have a particular number raised to itself here? So that should be the, 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 the point uh, at mind. Now, here we are having 2048. Here we are having base 2. You ask yourself, can I put in 2? Yeah, raise it to a particular number to give us 2048. Yes. If you raise 2 to the power of 11, it will give us 2048. So this expression could be written as your x to the power of x equal to 2 to the power of 2 or to the power of 11. Very simple. This is a base. The power is different. All like what we have here now, where we have x to its own self. Okay, so we now begin to think on how we can express the base and the power to be the same on the left, right hand side rather. Okay, so we now begin to think and work on this 11. 11 can also be written as 3 plus 8. So if I go ahead, we're going to have this to be x to the power of x equal to 2 to the power of 2 or to the power of 3 plus 8. It has not really changed anything because 3 plus 8 will give us 11. And so let's deal with this expression we have here now. According to the law of indices, it says that if we have a to the power of m plus n, this is same thing as a to the power of m times a to the power of n. Our expression we have here now is in this form. We want to take it to this uh, form now. Of course, I have a video on the laws of indices, but I tell you the several pillars of indices is showing up here. Okay, you can watch it later too. See, this very law is among the rules that I put in them. Now, if we bring Dix to this form, Dix side, will now become x to the power of x equal to 2 to the power of 2 or to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 8. Okay. Yeah. This is to the power of 8, okay? So now that we are having this all together, so we look at it again. We can separate this very one from this very one. Okay, because there is a law again, we see that a to the power of m to the power of n could be expressed as a to the power of m close bracket or to n. So if I do that, this is going to give me x to the power of x equal to 2 to the power of 2 or to the power of 3 close bracket or to the power of 2 to the power of 8. Let me write it away so that I don't get confused. Where are okay? So this is it. Okay. All right. All to the power of eight here now. Now we cannot ask ourselves here now. What is two to the power of three? Is two times two times two to give us eight? And so from here we cannot have this to be x to the power of x equal to two to the power of eight or to the power of 2 to the power of 8. Ah, something special has happened. So what we're looking for, we have it here now. Okay, so we are having here x to the power of x, 2 to the power equal to 2 to the power of 8, or to 
2 to the power of 8. So let's proceed from here and see what this in turn gives us. So from here, we now have this. This now implies that x is equal to 2 to the power of 8. And what is 2 to the power of 8? It's 2 times 2 times 2 into 8 places. And if we do that, that will give us 256. So therefore, x is equal to 256. Okay. Now, if you go ahead to put this value into this place, in other words, 256 raised to um, 256, you are going to have this same value from here. All right. Let's take the second method and see what that gives us. So let's take here second method. Second method. Okay. We bring down our question again, which says x to the power of x equal to 2, 2 to the power of 2, 0, 4, 8. Okay, we also have that in mind too, that what we can put in on the left-hand side, raise it to itself to give us um, something that looks like the uh, left-hand side. And so we keep dividing this guy down. So if we use 2 to divide this, this expression will become x to the power of x equal to 2 for the power of 2 times or into 1, 0, 2, 4. This is what we're going to have from here now. Okay. So from here, according to the law of indices, again, we can separate this out. Okay. That log which says a to the power of m n, which is the same thing as uh, a to the power of m bracket or uh, equal n. So if we do that, this will turn give us 2 to the power of 2 close bracket to the power of 1, 0, 2, 4. Okay. 2 to the power of 2 will give us 4. So this expression becomes x to the power of x equal to 4. To the power of one zero two four. Okay, and if we divide by two, divide the exponent by two, this is going to give us four into two. Okay, times or oh, let's put it in bracket. Better still, bracket. Here yeah, is going to give us five one two. All right, if we do that, which we did here. We're going to have this to be x to the power of x equal to uh, 4 to the power of 2 or to the power of 5, 1, 4, which is equivalent to uh, 4 to the power of 2 will give us 16. So we have here 16 or to the power of 5, 1, 2. Okay, we've not achieved what we're looking for. And again, 2 can go to this. So from here, let's proceed and see what we're going to have from here. Okay. So let's proceed from here. So we're having x to the power of x equal to, if we use 2 to divide x, this will give us 16 to the power of 2 into, 2 into 5, 1, 2, we give us 2, 5, um, 6, close bracket. Okay, we do that same here to so give you x equal to 2 to the power of 2, oh, sorry, 16 to the power of 2, we give us 2, 5, 6, all to the power of 2, 5, 6. We've got to what we're looking for now. Okay, so we are now having x to the power of x equal to 2, 5, 6 to the power of 2, 5, 6. So, therefore, our x is equal to 2, 5, 6. Okay. Same answer we got from um, the second one. The answer we have in here. All right. Now, there is a third uh, method of solving it, which involves uh, taking the log of both sides. But uh, for the sake of this video, I will stop uh, the second method. But if you want me to produce a video on the third method, which has to do with logarithm, taking logarithm of uh, uh, the expression, drop it in the comment section below. Okay? There, I will do that. Okay. Remember, this is all like Mass TV. 
I love you so much because you are always there for us. And we promise to always be there for you too. Okay? Thanks for your time. Jakes loves you. And all of us at All Lime Mass TV love you. Bye for now.